okay so this is a very interesting video here you can see that i have marked these bulging neck veins so these are flapping or bulging appearance of the neck veins so this is a typical sign and this sign is called as the frog sign so what is this frog sign and in which disease is this seen so this frog sign is seen in atrioventricular nodal reentry tachycardia avnrt okay so always remember that this avnrt this is the most common type of supraventricular tachycardia and these are canon a waves during avnrt so this occurs when there is an abrupt rise in right atrial pressure and it's uh, transmitted to the jugular veins when right atrium contracts against a closed tricuspid valve so you can see here in this diagram now i'll be explaining that what is the pathophysiology here so what happens here is that if there is any dysfunction of the av node there is an abnormal impulse which is generated and this causes a repeated reentry and this reentry causes supraventricular tachycardia as we can see the normal versus the supraventricular tachycardia there are extra beats which are generated so there is an abnormal impulse so here we have compared the normal pathway in a normal individual and then we have compared the avnrt okay atrioventricular nodal reentry tachycardia so what we can see that there is a reentry circuit i have marked here this causes additional impulses and this causes reentry tachycardia so in ecg also we will be getting these tachycardias now coming back to the patient here this number of canon a waves per minute is equal to the rate of the avnrt so this tracing plus rapid canon a waves are enough to diagnose the case as typical avnrt so this is very interesting to know that uh, this is a clinical electrophysiology study on only on the basis of electrophysiology we can diagnose this so this was all about frog sign which is seen in atrioventricular nodal reentry tachycardia and uh, i hope you people have enjoyed this video okay thanks for watching